Welcome back to my channel everyone, Easy Math with Miss Easley. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe because I make a math video every week. Okay, and if you saw my video last week, you know it was all about bar graphs and skills that you need to understand bar graphs. And this week, I thought it would be really fun to stick with bar graphs, but we're going to look at making them all in Minecraft. Check this out. So here's a little sneak peek at just how awesome making a bar graph in Minecraft can be. Look how beautiful that is. So my idea was to make a graph all about different fast food chains and how many locations they have worldwide. You can do something like this too. Try it out with your own idea on Minecraft. Let's review a little. Here we have the x-axis or the horizontal axis. Here's the y, the vertical axis. And the intersection of the two is called the origin. Then we need to make sure that we have a scale or interval so that we are counting by a certain amount as we go up the y-axis. So I'm typing in 10,000 here. Okay, I have 5,000 here. So that means I'm jumping by 5,000 every time. So 5,000, 10,000, what's next? Good, 15,000, and so on. So along the x-axis, I'll be typing in all of the different food chains that I'm using. And then I'll be building the bar that represents McDonald's location numbers. And you may be starting to notice that the reason why I chose 5,000 as my interval is because we're working with pretty big numbers. So it just makes it that much easier to make the bar graph. All right, how many locations do you think McDonald's has worldwide? Great, 40,000. And now we're going to move on to the next chain, which is Subway. So as I finish this bar, what do you think the subway numbers are? Halfway between 40,000 and 35,000 looks like it's 37,500. Now let's take a look at the next chain, which is Starbucks. Let's see what their numbers are. I went ahead and made the bar for you. Okay, so it's between 35,000 and 30,000. And it's looking to me like it's about at 34,000. Next, let's do KFC. And I want you to watch and see if you think I'm going in a specific order with these uh, fast food chains? Is there a certain reason why I'm going in this order?
Okay, and this one is about at 25,000. Okay, next one is Pizza Hut. Okay, so Pizza Hut has about 20,000 locations, so let me get this just right. Okay, then I decided to make the Pizza Hut bar look a little bit more interesting with some different colors like the other ones. Okay, the last chain is Burger King. And before I finish this one, I want you to tell me, based on the other bars, do you think Burger King is going to have more or less locations? So hopefully you might have noticed a trend or a special order I'm going in. All right, I bet you guessed it. It's looking less than the others because I'm going in descending order. So my first bar was the tallest and then it kept going down and down as we go to the different businesses. All right, so Burger King has about 19,000 locations. It's very close to the Pizza Hut number. Okay, so now that we have all of our data, let's try some problems out. So I wanna know how many more locations does Subway have than Burger King? Why don't you pause the video and solve that problem? Awesome, so if you do 37,500 minus 19,000, you get 18,500. Let's try this one. How many locations do KFC and Burger King have combined? Pause the video and find out. All right, so 25,000 plus 19,000 is 44,000 locations. Great job. All right, I have another question for you. Do you think McDonald's has more locations than Pizza Hut and Burger King combined? Pause the video to find out. Okay, 20,000 plus 19,000 is 39,000 combined locations. So yes, McDonald's does have more locations than Pizza Hut and Burger King combined. Okay, here's my last question for you. How many total locations are there for all of these chains? Pause the video to find out. Okay, so there are 175,500 locations for all of these chains combined. I know that this particular problem takes a lot of adding that's six different large numbers that we had to add. So if your answer is a little bit off of mine, you might want to go back and check over your work. Maybe try adding just a couple numbers at a time. Great job today, everyone, and I'll see you next time.